Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And guys, today it's Tuesday, time to cover the news. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, we got some really small news today. So let's jump into it. Let's see what we have here. So Castle Palamecia Exploration. So the Final Fantasy II event with uh, Dark Knight Leon and Mr. Furion. Uh, this will start on Friday and we're going to be able to fight the Black Knight. So let's see what Kupo has to say. Well, a little Mog has to say about that. So prepare countermeasures for status ailments such as Blind and paral uh, Paralyzed Kupo. Your party will deal more damage if you reduce his defense and SPR. Kupo and bring a unit that can protect your party from his powerful phys physical attacks. So uh, bring a physical cover tank, somebody who can break and uh, you'll be able to deal a lot of damage. So let's see what we have here. So uh, initial completion reward, you get a 5% Moogle, which is always really nice. Complete the quest, you get the Sunblade. Attack 108, uh, attack 104, sorry, and it's a great sword. Enables Undead Killer, boost physical damage against Reapers. Pretty nice indeed. No items, you're going you're gonna to get 10,000 Wild Roses. Defeat a Black Knight with a Limit Burst, you get Dark Resist. Uh, resistance 20%, which is a piece of material. Really, really good to have those. And Party of 5 or less. Companion included, you get another 5% Mughal. And uh, maybe we'll use these two guys to deal some ma massive, massive damage. And I gotta say, uh, I really like Leon. So I was basically able to get Leon and uh, Firion on the uh, daily. So that's really, really cool. Because my luck in this game ooh, has not been there lately. But uh, it feels good to have luck back then. We're going to get a raid event. So uh, this is going to be with the Final Fantasy V raid event. So Barrier Tower. Let's see right here. So like any other raid event, uh, we're going to be able to get some coins. And with those coins, you're going to be ex able to exchange them, summon them. Uh, you're going to be able to get some uh, Moogle, uh, some Moogles. Indeed, you're going to be able to get some Gil Snappers, Cactuars, all this good stuff. And you're going to be able to obtain materials to craft these little bad boys right here. So Black Robe, FF5. Uh, you're going to get Defense 20, Magic 33, and uh, Spirit 32, which is really nice. Boost Dark Resistance by 30%, then you get the Flame Ring. Defense and Spirit, plus 5. Boost Fire and Ice Resistance by 25%. Reduce Water Resistance by 50%, uh, which is still not bad, because if you're fighting somebody who does a lot of Fire uh, or Ice, then uh, that Resistance 25% is really nice. Even though you're losing 50% on the Water, that doesn't matter much. Then you're going to be able to get the Coral Ring, it's another accessory, Defense and Spirit 5, boosts Fire and Water Resistance by 25%, and reduces Lightning Resistance by 50%. Huh. So, like always, guys, Raid Summon, you're going to be able to get all this good stuff right here. Four-star tickets are really, really rare, but uh, if you're lucky, you might get them often. Which, lately, I have not been getting at all. Then, because we're getting a, a Raid event for Final Fantasy V, we're also getting a new banner for Final Fantasy V, and this one is pretty special since we're getting three five-star units going to seven-star. So we're going to be able to get Warrior of Light, Kryl, Warrior of Light, uh, Warrior of Dawn, Galoof, and Dark Mage, X-Death. So uh, they all have their own step of banners, and they're each going to cost 24,000 Lapis. And they're pretty much similar, which uh, step two is really, really nice, guys, because that's one thing, uh, playing JP, that was really happy. It's on step two, you're getting 10 maxed uh cactuars so that's really really good especially if you want to max out your characters nice and quick uh that second step right here this is beautiful and i love this we're also getting a five percent moogle on step one and it's a nine plus two step three always a guaranteed rainbow which is really really nice step four you're getting that whopping 90 percent blue chance uh for a uh crystals i hope they would change this for a 30 percent ticket 30 percent ticket would make so much more sense but uh nonetheless that's all right and on step three step five sorry step three step five you're going to be guaranteed the unit that you're summoning for so if you want Kryl, galoof or x death well you're going to do the step up that you want and you're going to be guaranteed the unit and i hope you guys can mac basically seven star them and get their super tmr if you want so let's go with Kryl. she's a little bit of a mage i got stats right here she's more of a mage slash uh support character where she's going to be able to heal and provide some mp to the whole party but let's go over super trust master Kral's crunchy as my throat is really dry and i need some coffee Whew. mp 100 
Magic 60, Defense and Spirit plus 32, Nullify para Paralysis, Poison, Blind Sleep, Silence, Confusion, Disease, and Stone. She's also getting some global upgrades, so her Trust Master Reward, Girl Entrusted with Hope, Boost Magic by 50%, Boost Parameters of Esper Evoke by 30%, and Restore MP every single turn, which is pretty, pretty nice. Then her Featured Abilities, Abilities, uh, Mysterious Power, one use every 5 turns, Reduces Lightning and Wind Resistance for all enemy, and boost magic, fill evil gauge every turn, and enables triple wind drake for four turns to caster. Not bad. Furious Ar Ario, deal wind damage to all enemies and power up with consecutive uses. If I'm not mistaken, this one will chain will turn with tornado, and basically mighty thunder will chain with graviton cannon. Graviton cannon. So deal lightning damage and reduce lightning resistance for all enemies. Then we got the big boy Galoof right here. Who's uh, actually not that bad. He's actually not that bad. Let me pull out his stats right here. So this guy can basically be a tank slash uh, physical damage slash supporting your party a little bit. And uh, he can break. Also, he has a 60% break for attack and defense to one enemy. Uh, he can physical cover for the whole party. And also, uh, he chains with uh, Kingslave. So if that's one thing you want to chain with, he chains with Kingslave. Well, you never know. It might change from uh, JP to Global, but right now in JP, his stats are like that, where he's chains with, uh, he chains with Kingslave. So let's go over his Super Trust Master, Warrior from Another World. Boost HP and Defense by 40%, which is really nice. And Fire and Light Resistance by 50%. That's pretty cool. Then his, super, uh, then his Trust Master, Galoof's, Galoof's Sword. Attack 130, Defense 30, and HP 20%, which is pretty nice. Featured Abilities, Sworn Protection... One use every six turns. Chance of temporarily guarding all allies. Chance of temporarily guarding allies against physical damage. Boost on attack and defense and reduces damage taken by all allies. Bonds of Fortitude. Boost attack and defense for all allies and consumes own LB gauge to fill another LB gauge. Uh, so basically he's gonna... It's like an entrust, but he's gonna be able to boost the attack and defense for the whole party. And if I'm not mistaken, let me see... Uh, what is this? Uh, it's supposed to be 110%. So same thing with Kryl, uh, where she's able to buff your party, defense and spirit and attack and magic by uh, 110% also, which is not that bad. Not that bad. It's not super strong, but uh, they're not there for that mainly. So if ever you need, you know, slash a little bit support fast, fast, well, they can provide that. Then blast to the past, uh, damage and reduces fire and light resistance for one enemy and enables... Prayer for the future for four turns. All right, then the last boy. We're going to go with X-Death. Uh, he's all about damage, so it's Super Trust Master. Overcoming death, boost magic by 60% and boost magic against human, insects, and plants. Now, on the JP version, I just want to make sure. If I'm not mistaken, it's 50%. So, basically, that killer abilities right here, those killer abilities is 50%, which is really, really nice. Then the Trust Master reward, Dark Ring. Defense 6, Magic 52, boost Dark Resistance by 30%, and enables Power of Darkness, boost Magic by 10%. Then his featured abilities, got some global upgrade love. Uh, complete Void, 1 use every 5 turns. Damage and reduces Wind, Earth, and Dark Resistance for all enemies, and boosts damage of certain abilities, and enab enables Quadruple Dark Magic for 4 turns to cast her. Now let's see right here, Complete the Void, uh... Do I have something here? Well, no, it's not saying... Uh, basically in JP, sorry, it's saying that it's 100% in peril. So maybe it's going to be 120% in peril here on the global. Then he gets X-Flare. Damage one enemy and boost attack, defense, magic, and spirit, and damage of certain abilities for caster. x only. Damage one enemy and boost damage of certain abilities and enables X-Meter for four turns for caster. And the beautiful thing, guys... Sorry, mine's are itchy. I'm a little bit sick. Uh, is Limit Burst is pretty cool. Magic damage 35 times to all enemy and decreases SPR by 60% for 5 turns to all enemies. Recovers 200 MP to caster and it's a 20 hit move. So basically if you have 2x death, brrr, bam, you can chain the Limit Burst which is pretty insane. Then we're going to go into the notices. Uh, we're going to get the uh, Vault of Engine Treasures which is really really cool. I need that. I need those snappers because you guys can see i'm really poor with four million gil uh so i need i need a lot of gil and uh, some cactuars 
Then the series boss battle emperor. We're gonna be able to fight uh, a newly highly difficult quest. Emperor will become available after maintenance on the 1010. Final Fantasy 2. Look at that. Isn't he pretty? Beautiful Emperor. So let's see what the little Mog has to say about this guy. Here's some info for you, Kupo. The Emperor is a powerful foe skilled at using magic. Uh, he is especially adept at using several types of fire magic attacks, so it would be wise to raise your fire resistance and SPR before channeling, uh, challenging him, Kupo. He also inflicts stop, so make sure to prepare countermeasures, Kupo. A large amount of the Emperor's HP is restored every turn, so attack with all your might to inflict damage greater than the HP restored, Kupo. Mission Rewards. So, completion reward, complete the quest, you get 100 Lapis. Use green magic, you get 2 silver enlightenment keys. Defeat the Emperor with a limit burst, you get 1 gold enlightenment key. And defeat the Emperor's party within 25 turns, you get 1000 Lapis, which is really nice. Then the bonus units for this fight, Dark Knight Leon, Wild Roses Furion, Emperor. And uh, I don't know if you guys are going to bring... Uh, maybe the old Furion could be good. You know what? With all the Trust Masters and the Super Trust Masters, I, I think this guy can still deal a lot of damage. Then we got guy, Maria. This guy. This guy I've never seen. This guy I've never seen, but uh, he's there. So Final Fantasy II boss battle. Uh, you guys are going to be able to bring any party that you want. Fight the Emperor. And that's going to be pretty, pretty cool. So a lot of, not that much things to look forward for this weekend. And uh, this week on the game. But still, nonetheless... Well, thank you. Thank you, game. Nonetheless, still pretty cool. We got a boss battle. Uh, we also have a, you know, a nice step up. And uh, Final Fantasy V, they're showing some love. Because we just, not long ago, got uh, Bards, Warrior of Light Bards and Warrior of Light Lena. And now we're getting the rest of the crew. So, guys, let me know down below if you're going to be summoning for this new banner. If you do so, tell me you're going to go for Kryl, Galoof, or X-Death. And also... Like always, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.